Live microbes have been discovered in the rock 2 billion years ago. In rock cores excavated in South Republic African Japanese scientists have discovered living organisms. There would be nothing in it especially strange if it were not for the age of the rocks, which is estimated to be 2 billion years old. Scientists from the University of Toki have made an amazing the discovery. In rocks excavated from the surface, the age of which was estimated at two billions of years, they found tiny living creatures. Research on the discovered microbes can help us better understand the early evolution of life. They can also help in the search for extraterrestrial life in samples of rock brought even from Mars. Description and results of research appeared in the journal Microbial Ecology. The rock core, where live microbes were found, were extracted from 15 meters deep in a place called the Bushveld Igneous Complex. It is the biggest layered magmonican Raniksha in the Earth's crust. It occupies an area of less size more Ireland and contains some of the richest ores deposits on Earth. From this approximately 70% of the world's platinum mining site dates back to the site. The area it has remained relatively unchanged since its inception, providing the ideal conditions in which ancient microbial life can survive. This is the oldest example of living microbes so far found in the ancient rocks. We didn't know if the rocks had been two ago billion years are suitable for habitation. The oldest layer so far the geological one in which live microorganisms were found was a sediment from 100 million of years under the ocean floor, so it is very exciting the discovery, said Yohei Suzuki of Toki University, lead author, research. By studying the DNA and genomes of microbes like these, we may be able to understand the evolution of very early life on Earth, he added. Organisms living deep beneath the Earth's surface are evolving unbelievably slowly and have an extremely slow metabolism, which means, that they can survive in rocks and sediments on geological scales even up to 2 billion years, as new research has shown. Because the rocks they remained mostly intact for billions of years, formed in them small spaces or cracks in which microbes could live safely and it's to grow. Researchers took a rock core with a length of about 30 it's in centimeters. The sample was then cut into thin slices. After the researchers noticed tightly packed in cracks and thorough look at the cracks and scales of living microbes, isolated from the external environment for billions of years. Any gaps near these cracks were clogged by the Ilasta minerals, this prevented organisms from getting out or getting inside others. Researchers believe that the discovered microbes draw energy from water interaction with rocks. But their exact characteristics have not yet been performed. To confirm that the microbes came from a rock sample and not they were impurities from drilling or testing processes, stained DNA microbes and used infrared spectroscopy to look at their proteins, and also with proteins in the surrounding clay. This technique was developed by the same team researchers in 2020 for the needs of the research. Scientists and scientists they also used electron microscopy and fluorescent microscopy to confirm that the microbes were native to an ancient sample from the rock core. Microbes can live in a really difficult environment like hot springs or deep in the ocean near hydrothermal vents. Finding these ancient microbes helps scientists understand how the way life can exist even in the most extreme conditions. Scientists and scientists they hope that by studying these ancient microbes, they will learn more about how life began on Earth and how it evolved over time. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching, potentially it even dates back to the Red Planet. I am very interested in the existence of microbes under the surface, not only on Earth, but also the possibility to find them on other planets, 
Suzuki said. The Mars rover Perseverance is to deliver rocks of a similar age to those we used in this study. Finding the microbiological life in samples from Earth 2 billion years ago and the possibility of a thorough confirmation of their existence means that I'm excited about what we can find in the samples from Mars. He added. The Green Antarctica. Surface covered with vegetation it's up 10 times. The rapidly warming region of Antarctica is becoming its greener. Satellite images show that the area covered with vegetation it has increased more than 10 times in the last 35 years. In new research, researchers from the Universities of Exeter and Hertfordshire and the British Antarctic Survey have determined that the surface vegetable coverage on the Antarctic Peninsula has increased from less than 1 square kilometer in 1986 to almost 12 square kilometers in 2021 the year. The researchers also found that this trend has accelerated in recent years. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature The Geoscience. Antarctic Peninsula, as well as many regions polar, warming much faster than the world average and extreme heat phenomena in Antarctica are becoming more common. This makes me do vegetation, mainly moss and lichens, spread in very fast the pace. In their research, the researchers used satellite data to assess how global warming has changed the landscape of the peninsula the Antarctic. In 1986, it was practically devoid of vegetation. MCHY and lichens occurred in an area of less than one square kilometer. However, however, in 2021, vegetation covered 12 square kilometers. This increase it has accelerated by 33% in recent years, 2016 to 2021, compared to full period research, 1986 to 2021, coined with record temperatures occurring at thermometers all over the world. The photos used in the research were taken by the plants they absorb a lot of red light and reflect near-infrared light. Scientists can use satellite measurements of light with these wavelengths, to determine whether a piece of land is covered with vegetation. These numbers shocked us. This is the rate of change in the extremely and isolated, extremely sensitive area is causing concern. He says Thomas Rowland from the University of Exeter, CEO author of the study. In a way, spreading moes on previously ice-covered landscapes will be they form a layer of soil, offering a habitat for other plants. The researcher suggests that this creates excellent opportunities for alien colonization of these areas the species. And the native flora of Antarctica is adapted to extreme conditions and may not be able to compete with the influx of other species. As a cause of such a condition, scientists indicate how not difficult to guess, climate change. Temperatures on the peninsula increased by almost 3 Celsius grades since the 1950s, which is a much bigger increase than in others the parts of the planet. Plants that we find on the Antarctic Peninsula, mainly moss they grow in probably the most difficult conditions on Earth. The landscape is still almost entirely dominated by snow, ice, and rocks, and only a small part of it is colonized by plants. But the small ones some have grown significantly, showing that even the vast and isolated the land is affected by anthropogenic climate change. Roland said. Scientists highlight the urgent need for further research to the identification of specific climate and environmental mechanisms that they drive this trend. As these ecosystems become more established, and the climate is still warming, it is likely that the scope of greening it will increase. The soil in Antarctica is mostly poor or does not exist at all, but this increase in plant life will add organic matter and facilitate formation the soil is potentially paving the way for other plants. This increases the risk arrivals of alien and invasive species likely to be imported by ecotourists.
scientists, or other visitors on the continent Ollie Bartlett University of Hertfordshire. Roland emphasizes that we can soon observe fundamental changes in the biology and landscape of this sensitive region. Ours the findings raise serious concerns about the environmental future of the Antarctic Peninsula the whole continent. To protect Antarctica, we need to understand these changes and determine exactly what causes them, points out Roland. The Milky Way could be part of a giant structure called the Shapley Concentration. The galaxy in which our solar system is located, that is, the Milky Way can be part of a huge structure, larger than before it was assumed that is called the Shapley Concentration. Discoveries made by astronomers suggest that our cosmic neighborhood may be much larger. They also challenge our models of the evolution of the universe. Our planet is part of the solar system shaped by the force of gravity. Our solar system is gravity are associated with our Milky Way, along with hundreds of millions of others the planetary systems. The Milky Way, in turn, is part of an even larger one structure that is shaped not only by gravity but also by expansion the universe. Galaxies are not evenly distributed in the universe. Our galaxy is part of a group of galaxies called the local group. The group local creates one large structure connected by the force of gravity and moves through the cosmos as a whole. It is dominated by the Milky Way and her siblings, the Andromeda Galaxy. These two large galaxies have many satellite galaxies bound by gravity and replenishment of the local group. Local group is part of an even larger structure called the Supersparcher Laniakea, which contains more than 100,000 galaxies and spans about 500 millions of light years. In new research, an international group of astronomers led researchers from the University of Hawaii suggested that the Milky Way could be part of an even larger structure Shapley's concentration, which it defines it's also as Shapley's supergatement. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Nature Astronomy. As we study the universe, we discover that we are part of much larger structures created by interactions gravity. Gravity. We circulate around the Sun, and the Sun with the solar system is part of the Milky Way. The Milky Way is part of the local group, it also includes the Andromeda Galaxy and several other small galaxies. The group local is located on the outer edge of the Supergromata in Virgo, which itself it is part of a gigantic structure called the Laniakea Supergreenard. According to the new Laniakea research is also part of a larger structure concentration Shaplia. Shapley's Supergromata is a concentration of galaxy clusters. It was first spotted in 1930 by Harlow Shapley. It is a the largest concentration of matter in the local universe. Because of its weight it has a significant impact on the movement of superthalms and galaxy clusters. We already know that we live in a super gain of Laniake. However, however, the movements of other clusters indicate that there is a greater concentration of mass in which the direction is flowing galaxy clusters. New data suggests we may be a part Shapley concentrations, which may be ten times more in volume than a Super Slayer Laniakea. That's about half the volume of the largest known structure in space, called the Great Wall of Sloan which is a series of galaxies extending to 1.37 billion light years. The team looked at the movements of 56,000 in their research. Gala galaxies and attempted to map the local universe, taking under the attention of errors occurring in the attempt to measure the velocity and movement of galaxies. And our universe is reminiscent of a gigantic network in which galaxies lie along fibers and accumulate in knots where gravitational forces attract them Brent Tully of the University of Hawaii explained. Astronomers have added that just like water it flows in catchments, 
galaxies flow in similar cosmic catchments gravity towards highway regions. The origins of the universe date back to nearly 14 billion years backwards, when small differences in density began to shape the cosmos, growing under the influence of gravity into the huge structures we see today. Creating maps of the universe that take into account such structures not it is an easy task. Tracking the motion of galaxies and their impact on each other each other in order to model these cosmic currents and flows is difficult. There are many uncertainties. According to the team simulation, there is 60% chance that the Milky Way is in the concentration Shaplia. But structures of such gigantic size undermine our understanding of the space. Given what we see in the microwave background radiation, the first light we can detect after birth universe, structures can only grow to certain sizes within of our current models. However, Shaplia concentrations and other similar structures they seem to be larger than models predict. Scientists evaluate these large-scale structures by studying them effects on the motion of galaxies. The galaxy between two such structures will be caught in gravitational ropes in which the balance of gravitational forces the surrounding large-scale structures determines the motion of galaxies. By mapping velocity of galaxies across our local universe, the team is able to define a region of space where every super speech overpowers dominates. Perhaps it is not surprising that we further delve into them into space, the more we discover that our parent supergrome is more connected and more extensive than we thought, Noam said. Leibskind of the Institute of Astrophysics Leibniz in POTS, discovering that it exists the high probability that we are part of a much larger structure is it's exciting. For now, it's just a clue. You will need to do more observations to confirm the size of our parent super threat, he added. Scientists plan to continue mapping the largest structures in space, guided by the assumption that our place in the universe it is part of a much more extensive and connected system. Astonishing rib warm abilities. After the injury two the individuals can combine into one organism. A species of ribs has surprising abilities. Scientists and scientists they observed how the injured individual merged with the other individual, creating one large body. After the combination, the two individuals appeared to divide the nervous system and the digestive tract. An international team of researchers has made a surprising the observation. Scientists have seen two ribs of the species Nemeopsis lidii merged their bodies, integrating digestive and nervous systems, no problems with rejection caused by the system reaction it's an immunological. In this way, one large individual was created with its an unusual shape. The impulse to such action were wounds suffered by one of the individuals. This extraordinary adaptation has never been observed in the ribs. But this is not the only unique ability of this species the ribs. Recent studies have described that Nemeopsis lidii under the effects of environmental stress can go back to the larval form, and then to see again when favorable conditions return. Discoveries made in new research could help scientists investigate how the immune system developed the ability to distinguish own tissues from tissues of another organism and gain insight into the evolution of systems the nervous one. Results and description of the research appeared in the journal Current Biology. Our findings suggest that the rib reply may not have system for distinguishing yourself from others said K. Yakura of the University of Exeter in the UK and National Institutes of Natural Sciences in Okazaki in Japan. In addition, the data suggests that two separate individuals can quickly connect your nervous systems, he added. Researchers saw the peculiar behavior of the ribs and population of these animals kept in a marine water tank in the laboratory. Some species of these creatures have incredible regenerative abilities, 
therefore they have become a popular laboratory model. In the tank, the researchers noticed an unusually large individual who seemed to have two hind ends of the body and two mouths. They wondered where it came from. Body of this individual it looked like it was the result of the merger of two animals. The researchers have put it up the idea that this unusual ribbon was created as a result of a merging with another. To find out, they removed some parts of the body to creatures and placed them overnight in pairs in such a way that their reunion has they were eight. It turned out that in nine out of ten cases, injured individuals merged in its one organism. Animals looked completely healthy three weeks after the merger, when the experiment was completed. Further research has shown that after just one night two original specimens easily became one without visible separation between them. When scientists poke one mouth beer, it reacted to the whole clitular body, suggesting that their nervous system was also its fully connected. We were amazed when we noticed that stimulation the mechanical use to one side of the gel shoribuia caused synchronized muscle contraction on the other side, Yakura said. Unlike most other animals, one body it did not reject the foreign tissue of the second, suggesting that the immune system the ribwe paper has no ability to distinguish ours from they. Researchers also looked at the digestive duct and they found that he also had a connection. When one of the mouths swallowed fluorescent labeled shrimp, food got to the other the individual. Eventually, the creature released metabolic products from both and fermentation, but not at the same time. The remnant ribs have two holes the mouth. When food was served to one, the digested material was transported to the neighboring gastrointestinal tract, Yakura explained. More detailed observations have shown that it is merged the rib prop has performed spontaneous movements for the first hour after the merger. Then the movements began to synchronize. After just two hours, cramps the muscles in 95% of the animals ingrown were completely synchronized. Scientists say it's still unclear how the combination of two individuals into one functions as a survival strategy. They suggest future research will help fill gaps in knowledge, which may have potential implications for regenerative research. One of the possible advantages it is that the merger allows for a much faster recovery after injury he said Yakura. Scientists still need to confirm whether the rib proper can also perform this astonishing feat in the wild. This species freely it drifts among the waters on the vast surfaces of the ocean, so probably not they are close enough to a potential fusion partner so often. The rib propab were among the first animals to they evolved on Earth. Their ability to connect suggests that the first animals may not have the ability to distinguish themselves from others, which is a trait that is important for the immune systems of many creatures. Interestingly, Yakura while searching the publication database, he stumbled upon an old but very important study the ribs on. Their merger was described in 1937. I was shocked when I found this study. Yakura said. Yakura plans to solve this phenomenon by bringing together future tests on the nervous system of connected animals, using imaging on life to directly observe how electrical signals move, between them. <laughs>